Yeah, I mean, I feel like um, Asian Asian women have been at least getting some some spotlight. It's mm-hmm. never been represented correctly, mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but does it help that you are, I guess, like part Asian? at all or does it not affect it at all do they just see you as they just like see the, me as asian so i'm as not asian white person. passing but um i don't know i've the most interesting thing i've i've encountered in the industry is that asian men and asian women are treated the opposite like asian yes. women are highly sexualized and fetishized asian men are emasculated completely yeah. and it, it's been interesting to finally have people like john cho who got to be the lead in selfie or camille nanjiani i don't know if you saw i posted all these like sexy buff half naked pics because he's going to be in the next marvel movie oh really I yeah and okay. people are like losing their mind he was like on the front page of Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> it was great i was like yeah sexualize that asian man oh, get it get it um so it's been weird like i've also noticed in the community just like, have you heard of the rice pill? The rice pill? It's like the red pill, but for Asians. Uh, is this like when you get drunk, you don't want to go red, so you take the pill? <laughs> no, no. No? The red, do you know what incels are? Yes. Okay, so the red pill is a part of Reddit full of incels who believe like rape should be legalized, da 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 The rice pill is an Asian subsect of Asian men who believe that Asian women should only be with Asian men. And oh, like, that is so funny. Yeah, they take it upon themselves to just hate on Asian women in the entertainment industry across the board. Wow. So like this weird thing of dealing with people of your own race thinking you're like a traitor to your race or that you owe your race something has been an interesting part of the industry as well. Like Constance Wu came under attack from them. I've been under attack from them. Yeah. It's been a very uh, hostile group. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it, I can't, I can't, um, I can't imagine how, how difficult it is. I mean, it's, there's the, the also, there's a pressure for Asian women now to date Asian men because they're speaking out. So people feel like, oh, they're they're like hypocrites if they don't date Asian mm-hmm. men. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's hard for me to relate. Like I grew up in Canada, but I've I haven't really dated a lot of Asian women either. So I never mm-hmm. really understood that. Yeah, and if an Asian wo- a man is seen with a white woman, everyone's always like, yeah, they cheer for them yeah. <laughs> all the time, whether it's Latina or yeah. or, or white woman. Um. Is there pressure on you in that sense to like speak for the Asian woman? Are you because you you're really one of the faces in the, in the younger generations for for Asian women? Um, yeah. I mean, I can't represent them all. You know, you know how it is when you're the token Asian in the group, and every white person looks at you to see if it's okay. But yeah. um, I don't know. I think it is such an interesting thing because America's a melting pot. So it's like I don't. You know, dating is hard enough. Why am I going to limit myself to one pool of mediocrity? No offense to everyone here. But, you know, dating men <laughs> is, is its own thing. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, oh, I feel like I offended you all. I'm so sorry. sorry. Okay. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up pretty soon. Yeah, or, okay. we'll cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> I've just offended all the men. Um, yeah, no, no. No, joke, joke. Um,